In the last video, I mentioned something about hiding inside the walls. So what I meant by that is right now we fade to black and there's actually nothing keeping us from just staying inside a wall or hiding in there. So what I'm going to introduce here is some kind of a timer that will uh, throw us out from the wall if we stay in too long. So last time we had this camera collision set up here, which I'm going to expand by setting a timer so i'm gonna create a value for a variable for this i'm gonna call this camera camera collided time this is going to be a float which i'm going to set here so i'm going to set that to the time game time in seconds like that and up here where we do this check here if we're overlapping and so on if we do overlap then we know we are staying inside the wall then we also want to uh, make sure that if a certain amount of time has passed since we since we started overlapping then we want to eject the player from the wall so this technically works only in some circumstances, but I'm going to return to that later on. So first of all, from this one, from the black one, we're going to make a branch here and say, well, we know we are overlapping, but we're also going to say the game time in seconds. Is this the, the difference between this and our camera collided time is this greater than let's say one second and if so we want to eject our player you may remember from one of the previous videos, I created a function or a custom event for that called realign to capsule. And that is exactly the one I'm going to be using again here. to take one of these if I stick my head in here and after one second you can see I've been ejected <clears throat> it feels a little bit um, disorienting when you get ejected and you don't really figure, uh, get what happened but I guess you could add a teleport sound some kind of other visual feedback or whatever one thing I don't handle really is if I stick this into my head, I will actually get teleported around. Or in this case, you can see I'm moving a little bit around, and that is another problem. Also, let's assume that we have something that we can't fit underneath, so we wanted to walk under something and we'll duck underneath. Right now, we don't really allow ducking underneath things. So that will also cause a collision, in this case, with the, the roof. And then technically, it would end up jamming us outside the world. So these are also some of the uh, issues that we need to solve with this. But that is something for another time. For now, I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.